Hey hello welcome back This is part 2 of summary matrix type video in which I am going to explain how to write promql query in prometheus to generate an alert in alert manager In earlier video which is first part of this video we pushed summary matrix type in prometheus endpoint to calculate latency of the application meaning time taken by specific endpoint to respond back to the consumer so let us continue the video to write a query on this pushed matrix so my prometheus server is running on localhost 9090 and if you can see target it's targeting to our prometheus which is just redefined and you can see the state is up so don't worry i will show in next videos how to configure a prometheus to scrap on specific targets or multiple targets okay so let's go to classic ui how to calculate how to check just you go you copy the name paste it here and execute now you can see you got everything http request duration count for all the endpoints all the path right and this is the value like how many times this endpoint is hit and at the same time you have the sum and you can find the sum value here so let's do a count and let's say you want to find out okay simple example i have a status defined here if that status is not equal to 200 then how much count we have so status okay braces and that's okay because it's string 200 okay so you can see there are two endpoint which return 404 or 304 so let's say what you need that how many endpoints are there which are not responding with a 200 and if that count is greater than let's say 100 then report me but this will not work it will not give you any data less than 100 that will give you data but what you can do you can do a sum also on this there is a function called sum so collectively if you receive more than let's say 100 count which has a status other than 200 then please report me here you can get you are getting two because you have two so if it's more than 100 just report me the another one is let's say count and you can check a specific endpoint right so let's say you don't want to check this favicon you don't want to check uh, hello or let's say just you want to check hello okay so what simply you can do you can copy this paste it here and it will give you just the hello one right so you can define a count and sum specific rule to specific endpoint also now next thing is okay one endpoint with hello one endpoint with let's say abc dfg anything like that and what i want anything which starting with hello i want to just look for the count and the sum i want to check the latency for that so that also you can do there is a wild card so what you can do you do like this slash hello and dot star so anything starting with this like this you will get anything everything with which is having slash hello in it okay and you get all the count all the things now the interesting part how we can calculate the request duration average request duration because that's the final objective okay so for that what we need to do we have a rate function so use a rate function and type here let's say we need for 15 minutes so just call this and you can see there are some values and divide this with the number of time that end point is hit right so count so here you got the average time in last 15 minutes so this returns the per second rate for the all the time series 
with the HTTP request uh, duration matrix name okay and it's measured over last 15 minutes so you can define a rule here that if my this rate or this expression is let's say respond taking a time more than 10 seconds okay 10 this is all already in 10 then generate alert you will not get anything because it's not more than that but when you have lot of lot of lot of calls let's say thousands of call and then this value will also increase right this is a sum so this value will also increase and then when you calculate the count then you will get a good value okay so hope it's clear this is the average duration and then you can define alert or define a rule that you know that your specific endpoint is taking if it's taking more than 10 seconds on average then that's not a good sign so you should alert generate an alert that in last 15 minutes you have specific endpoint which is taking more time so just go act on it this high possibility that you have one endpoint which is using a multiple dependency meaning multiple uh, different APIs and that APIs are also taking a lot of time so that's possible so this will help you to act fast and check the latency for your application hope this is clear in next video I will do a contile in summary I will use a contile in summary contile is a very good concept so I will explain you why to use contile and how to use contile in the summary Thank you very much and see you in next video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing.